Hello and welcome to another video tutorial on how to use Settler. The central functionality of Settler is to provide you with the means to write academic papers. But central to the idea of writing such papers is the ability to cite. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can set up Settler and the accompanying program Zotero with Pandoc Citeproc to enable you to correctly cite all the works you've been using during your research. Uh, one of the things I will be showing you is uh, how you can choose the citation style that Settler will be using to render your citations correctly in PDF, in word processing formats or whatever other output format you like. So please keep watching and enjoy the tutorial. This tutorial assumes that you've previously installed Pandoc and LaTeX to enable exporting from Settler. If you haven't done so, please make sure to watch our previous video in which I explain how to install both of them to enable the exporting. Additionally, you may want to install Zotero, which is a free literature management program. The link to it is down in the description. Also, of course, you need some reference works that you want to cite. Uh, I personally have, just for the sake of this tutorial, added two works that we are going to cite in our uh, in our document yeah, just two random articles so just that we have something to cite also what I've uh, done is I've created a small markdown file with Settler in which we will be using those citations but the first problem is that we need to enable Settler to actually use citations. Settler will be using uh, an additional plugin for Pandoc called Pandoc Sideproc. On Windows, for instance, Pandoc Sideproc should already be installed if you installed Pandoc, but for instance on macOS it is not yet installed, so we have to install it. To do so, we'll be using Homebrew, with, uh, which we have used uh, previously to install Pandoc. And with Homebrew we can also install Pandoc Sideproc simply by opening up a terminal and in this terminal just enter the command brew install Pandoc Sideproc. This will tell Homebrew that it should install Pandoc Sideproc for us. It should take only a few seconds and then it should be installed. So first things, first we have uh, enabled Settler to cite, but the problem is it still does not know what to cite. So we need some way to export our library into a format that Settler can read. To this end we will be using the plugin Better Bibtex. I've just opened it here. Uh, the download link is also down in the description. We'll just install it by clicking the download link on the top right level in the navigation bar and we need to download the XPI file which is basically just a Zotero plugin. Just click the link and wait a few seconds until the plugin has downloaded. Once the download is finished let's head back to Zotero and install it. Therefore click Tools, Add-ons and a new dialog will open up in which you can click this button and click install add-on from file. Navigate to our downloads folder, select our plugin, click open and confirm that we want to install it. After it has been installed we need to restart Zotero and we will be greeted with a welcoming dialog by the new plugin. So let's click continue to begin configuring. If you have used better big BibTech before, you can of course choose a different option, but for this tutorial we'll simply be using the defaults. Therefore select the third option and click continue afterwards. On the next screen you have the op uh, option to enable drag and drop citations. You can leave them on or disable them but we'll just be leaving this checked and then we have some additional dialogues simply do this. 
then we may be need uh, then we may need to restart Zotero for some additional changes to be loaded and afterwards we are set as you can see there is an additional column appearing called side key and these side uh, side keys these are the IDs we need for citing in Settler. You can of course customize these side keys, but this is not part of the tutorial. Please refer to the manual of Better Bibtex to know how to customize these keys. Now we need to export our library. You can of course also just export smaller collections, but in this tutorial we'll just export the whole library. As the format we need to choose Better CSL JSON. Make sure that you do not accidentally select CSL JSON because we need the better CSL JSON format. Just select it and we have an additional option to keep the exported file updated. This basically means that better Bibtex will make sure that whenever you change something in your library, the exported file will be updated automatically so you don't have to worry that your exported file is outdated. Click OK and then give it a name. We'll be just calling it my underscore library dot JSON and we will be placing it in the documents folder for this tutorial. Of course you can choose whatever folder you like. Click export and it should be present on your disk. Let's look. There it is. Just a few words on the JSON format. Um, as you can see, it's basically an interchange format that Settler can read. As you can see, in the first line here, we have the citation key that we need to use, uh, which is uh, called the ID. Then below it, we have the type of the reference, the title, some additional metadata, and further below, we have a list of all authors. Everything that you've previously entered in Zotero will be present here and can be used by Pandoc Sideproc to correctly cite all your reference works. So now let's make sure to load the library into Settler. To do so, open up the settings dialog and head over to the export tab. In the export tab, you have down here an option to select a CSL JSON database. Let's just navigate to our file, select it and open it. Settler should automatically load the file into the memory so that you can begin citing. To make sure that it has correctly loaded the file, open up the attachment panes. You can do, th uh, do so by clicking the button in the up right corner. And if it tells you there are no citations in this document, this means that it has correctly loaded the database, but of course you have no citations in your document. Let's change that. To begin citing, you need to use square brackets and then enter an at character. Settler will immediately present you with a list of all citations it has been uh, loading from the database. Select the one you need and it will automatically insert the citation key. And if you move out, you can see that it is correctly cited your work. But of course, you may not always want to cite the whole work. Oh, and uh, in the references uh, side pane, you can see that Settler has automatically added the work to the list of references. So, but of course, you may not always want to cite the whole book or the whole paper. So let's add a page number. Now, let's see what numbers we have. Uh, here we go. So let's just assume that we want to cite page number 10. Move out again and you can see that Settler has successfully detected that you want to cite a specific page number. Of course, if you have in the preceding sentence already mentioned the author's name, you can enter a hyphen in front of the ad to omit the author name. There are many other options you can use to Site, please refer to the Pandoc Sideproc manual to see what options you have. But now let's see how an export looks like with Pandoc Sideproc. We'll just use PDF as a default 
and it should automatically correctly cite. Uh, when you do not specify a specific citation style, it will be using the APA style by default. It will correctly cite and also put a reference to the whole work at the bottom of your document. But you may notice that there is no heading indicating that below there is this uh, references section. This is because we have to edit manually. Therefore, let's head back to our document and at the bottom of the document we'll be just adding a heading level uh, 2 called literature. Of course you can also call it references, whatever you prefer. Just make sure that nothing else follows the literature heading because Pandoc Sideproc will simply append all references to your document so the last heading obviously is then the heading for the section of references. If we now export it we can see that it works as expected. And below the heading we have all our references. But of course you may not always want to use the built-in citation style because you may not always want to use in-text citations. So let's see how we can customize this. To do so, just close the document and go back into the settings. In the settings, again on the export tab, you have a field CSL style. This can be used to load a style. For this tutorial I've downloaded the American Psychological Association citation and the Chicago Manual of Style. Let's first simply pull in the APA, click Save and let's see what it looks like. Unsurprisingly it will look exactly the same because the APA is also the default style. So nothing has happened here. So let's test out the Chicago Manual of Style. Head back there and select the Chicago Manual of Style. Click Open, Save and then it should automatically apply this citation style. The Chicago Manual of Style has a footnote reference style which you can see that uh, here that uh, the site proc has automatically added a footnote and cited the work inside this footnote instead of in the text. At the end of the document the reference also will follow the preconditions of Settler site proc. Of course you are not limited to APA or CM, uh, CMS style. Uh, just head over to zotero.org slash styles for a complete list of all styles that are available. You can filter them by format or by the different fields or specific keywords, whatever you want to use. Don't worry, you have a lot of styles available, over 9000 at the moment, so I'm pretty sure you will find a style that you like. So now you should be able to successfully cite all reference works you want inside your documents and you are set to write papers.